Autumn. Ugh. Autumn. I liked I liked his ass album. It was plug and B. It was, it was okay. It was cool. I just don't know if he'll ever hit that mark. Like the 85 tickets right now, it's it's not looking good. I just feel like the underground has not carried him through like they have with Summers as much. Too much plug and B though. Yeah, people were hating on the plug and B, even though that's exactly what people were asking for after Antagonist, when it was more experimental, like it wasn't rage, it was like punk. I don't even know it was punk. It was just like very, very experimental. That's it. And I liked a couple songs in there. Y'all know Etiquette, one of the a banger. But I just don't know if the fans even know what they want. So that's why you just gotta stop listening to fans as an artist. Just fucking do. Just do you. And they'll come along. They'll catch up. Whole lot of red. Cardi drop. Everyone hated it at first. Or a lot of people did. And then eventually just people caught on because he was just like, nah, fuck off. Y'all gotta fuck with it or you don't fuck with me. He just stood his ground. When you start listening to the fans and, and act like you were wrong, like, oh, maybe my last album wasn't that hard. Uh, then the fans will start believing that they're right. And then they can start bossing you around. It's almost like uh, Taz Taylor's tweet right here. He said, I feel like Grail's ruining music. Most of these shits don't come out for a reason. Fans here, 10 second IG snippet and think they know it's better than every song they haven't heard of a whole discography and try to bully an artist into dropping shit they obviously don't care about. Right. He's talking about Trisha. Any song, basically. Like that, say like the Uzi Grails or the, the Tekka Grails or the Cardi Grails or whatever. Where like fans will literally bully these artists into dropping the music. Even though we've talked about this. The artists didn't drop the music for a reason because they did not think it represented who they were at the time or they didn't think it was actually that good after posting the snippet they posted it right maybe they were feeling themselves 10 minutes after they actually made that song two days later they're like oh that shit actually ain't that great or they made a better song or they made a whole project that was better full of songs 10 15 songs that was better or they just didn't like the subject matter of the song. It just didn't fit like the whole album that they were working on. And Trisha, I don't even, I mean, it's cool. It just wasn't as great as the hype. And of course, once you build so much anticipation for a song, it just causes like a hate wave too. Cause it's, it's like so polarizing. It's like, oh, this song's so good. And then people who don't even, they're not even haters. They're just like, yo, it's not that good. And then people are like, oh my God. You're Satan for saying that. And then uh, then the person gets the backlash like, oh, no, fuck you. This song's trash. So the people who love the song so much are the ones that made the people who thought it was just OK or mid. Now they think that it's trash because the people are attacking them for not liking it. I was in the tech of discord like 10 minutes before the song even dropped. And they were like, by the way, if you don't like Trisha, like you go fuck yourself. Blah, blah, blah. It's like they, you haven't even heard the song. How do you know? Fucking meat riders. Just let the song drop. Let the artists do what they want. I think this is just a learning lesson for a lot of artists. And Uzi, Cardi, Tekka, all the, all the people. Just drop what you want to drop, man. Don't listen to the fans. The fans don't know music like you do. I don't know music like the artist does. I'm not even trying to say I'm better than anyone either because I'm just a fan at the end of the day too. I just listen to music. I don't know how to make music. So, and that's why I also don't even ask for any songs. It's like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Just, just do you, man. I wait for the actual official releases because the grails and shit, too much to, to hand, too much to, to keep track of. That shit is ridiculous. Y'all be like having fucking whole Excel sheets of of snippets and leaks like yo what snippets do you like or, or do you want in the album I'm like fuck I'm sh I don't even know the names of any of them I just you know the fans bullied Uzi and not switching up his sound Uzi did switch his sound though on eternal take he was more like rappy he was baby Pluto right 
But then they wanted they literally bullied him into dropping his old music. Although he's still working on new shit, Space Cadet, Final Fantasy. He dropped like actual new songs or 2021 songs, but that's still new in my eyes. The artists don't know music like you think. That can be true too. I mean, are you I think I think they do. I think I think the artist made the music that you like therefore they are in the position of being the expert at making the music right it's like if you if you made a pizza if somebody liked the pizza the pizza that you made they're gonna ask you how you made that pizza and they're gonna ask you to make them more now that somebody ate your pizza you're not going to let them be like, yo, you should put this on here and this on here when without them knowing you might have been in the studio already tried the certain sounds and whatnot that they're asking you to do or the different ingredients, like different toppings and shit that they're asking for to experiment with. And you're like, bro, I already tried that shit. Uzi said it himself. He doesn't know what's good anymore. Music wise, if you were rapping for six years, you wouldn't even know where to go at times either. Y'all don't realize how it is for rappers. I mean, that's facts. Like, you've made so many songs. Uzi's probably in the studio like every fucking day. It probably gets so overwhelming. So many different songs. You're like, shit, I, I've made thousands that I don't even know what like the ultimately you're making it for the fans, right? What's going to get views, what the fans are going to like. But at a certain point when you're oozy, you just got to drop what you like. And then you just got to trust that you or maybe he doesn't trust himself. That shows like a sign of lack of confidence in the music. And that's not a diss at him at all. But like you just got to eventually a rapper is just a brand, right? You got to be a cool person. And the people will just fuck with the music regardless if it's because music is so subjective that it's not good or bad and, and opinions will change based on the artist if if cardi dropped a whole lot of red he did people liked it but if roddy rich dropped a whole lot of red people would be calling that shit trash just because it's not a it's a less gravitational brand the person who made the music or released the music is a huge part in how it's received but yeah, music's so subjective, it's just hard to even judge yourself. Like if it's if it's good or not. That's why I tell y'all, if you're a new artist, just fucking drop the music. Because the fans will tell you if they fuck with it or not. And that'll point you in the direction of where you should go later on in your career. But if you're just holding on to everything, you're gonna get all goofed up. Like should I go this direction or that? Like you, you have so many different styles. You don't even know what people like anymore. And Uzi, because he's taken so many breaks, like two or three years to actually drop music, you don't even know what people like. So drop shit on SoundCloud, as I always say. You know, once every, you know, a couple months, maybe a pack every couple months. See what songs people fuck with. Maybe drop a, a couple different styles. Then you'll know for a fact what people are fucking with. Which ones go viral on TikTok? Which ones go viral on Twitter or Instagram or whatever? Which ones are just getting the most streams? Then you'll know which direction to go to.